Hey guys, it's Jaltira. I climbed from bronze to immortal playing Killjoy only, and I just wanted to share with you like my game sense and my thought process throughout multiple clips, because a lot of my clips aren't flashy. They're mostly just me being methodical and taking my time, and that's what I'm genuinely good at in Valorant. So, oh, and before I get started, I figured I'd let you know that these are like clips from different ranks. So one of them I could be bronze, the other I could be silver, another I could be immortal. So uh, it's a good mix. This there clip is go. gonna focus on timing and game sense. So I'm playing retake here with my teammate. I'm gonna look for a pick on showers. I trade out my jet. I hear Reyna to the left and I hear Sky in U-Haul. Let's pause for a second. Who would you take a fight with? The Sky or Reyna? I decide to take the fight with Sky since the enemy Reyna is ulted, so I have a better chance to win the fight with the Sky. You hear that? Immediately after she TP'd, she opened the door. That was at 55 seconds left. At 42 seconds, I decided that she is going back A. The moment you leave teleporter and run to hookah, it takes around eight seconds. 13 seconds have passed, and that's when I decided that I needed to go back A. And that is how I caught her off guard. By the way, I think I forgot to mention I was immortal in this clip. Oh my god, you're so good, holy fuck. So this clip is a 1v5 that I got. I think I was incendent. My Reyna died to Cypher Heaven, and since there's five people alive, I don't actually want to stick the bomb plant, so I just tapped. Sky did a really bad flash, and I was just waiting to see if she would swing off of her flash, and she did. I heard two footsteps, and I fake tapped and swung the two people. And the last one was Sova. And he was just using a classic for some reason. And I peeked out further after we were doing that little thing that you do in the hallway at school when you're like walking, trying not to walk into someone and they walk on the same side as you're going, if you know what I mean. Okay, so this next clip is literally my baby. I love it so much. I was the ascendant in this clip and I ulted behind the stage wall. This is so good. Such a great ult. You can literally just wait for them. If they don't fight you for this ult, you can literally wait for them to back up and start defusing when there's like two or three seconds left of the ult. And you'll defuse. I didn't have to kill a single person. Isn't that amazing? Lazy as fuck for my rank up. Okay, for this clip, we got stalled on attack and I decide that we should probably kill Flinker and then go A off of it. Bum, bum, bum. He's dead. Reason why we actually go A after we kill Flinker is because there's probably like no one there. And if there is probably one other person there. I gave my spike to Breach because he was like low health and I could have just covered him or something. I put alarm bot just for flank. Um, then people die, so I trade them out. Now I open the door to make who else is there, like CT maybe, like think that I could have gone through Sands. Now there's three different ways, different methods that they thought I could have gone. So I'm just like, Gonna chill. The fact that I made noise door, someone's probably gonna be chilling sands. Cause they're probably gonna investigate. I put my turret out for some intel. And I'm planting. Uh-huh. There's someone sands. And my alarm bot popped off, so I know that someone else is also a main. They're a Molly. Now I'm ulting. This is a really good ult spot if you have drop control as Killjoy. I'm mollying because he caged, because he was gonna try to push out and kill me. So I mollied to put even more pressure on him and I was able to kill him. Remember, your weapon is only a tool. You can't just shoot, you have to think.